Hi guys. Uh, seagulls outside. Wonder if they'll shut up. Right, they've gone quiet. Hi guys. Um, just a bit of fun really. I've just been inspired by a video I've just watched by David Vernon Williamson. I'm not on holiday anymore, I'm in Bristol. But we do get a lot of seagulls around. So, sorry about the background noise. Yeah, just been inspired by a video I've watched by David Vernon Williamson. He builds brilliant stuff from scrap, rubbish, whatever you want to call it. Lots of his projects involve the cardboard tubes out of toilet rolls. And the one I've just watched, he's got quite a few interesting um, contraptions made from toilet rolls. So watching that inspired me to make this, um, but this has nothing to do with what he was making. He was using vacuum, that's in vacuum cleaner, whereas this one I'm just blowing down the straw. This is acting like a piston. Um, and just blowing the centre section up. In fact, it was remarkably difficult to get it to work. I had to do quite a bit of trimming. I ended up putting a piston ring around the piston just to make it a bit wider because I've got this one toilet roll that's a bit wider than all the others. But unfortunately, toilet rolls are such thin cardboard that they do bend around quite a bit and it isn't easy to get a good fit. So it does work. Um, I don't really think there's much point in me trying to show how to build one. Well, I could talk through it and I don't have another one of these size toilet rolls anyway. I would suggest finding some stiffer cardboard rolls from some other uh, kitchen uh, item. These are just too soft. But that toilet roll I've just stuck to a cardboard base, made a hole in it, glued a straw to it, so that's all airtight. So you blow in there and the air comes out the top. And then the tube inside, which would be the piston, um, I found that I needed to cut most of it away to enable it to lift up. But I left these two legs so that it sits down at the right sort of height. Glued a bit of card to the top for a hat to also make it airtight. And then cut a hole for his mouth. And that's obviously where the air comes out as soon as it gets to that height. So the air exhausts out of his mouth and stops him rising any higher. Now, if you blow hard enough, he will come all the way out. But I actually found this, as I say, surprisingly hard to get to work. There's no dimensions involved. You just two toilet rolls, two bits of scrap card, and you've got a piston and a cylinder that blows up and down. Obviously I've coloured it in with my best felt tip pens. I just thought it was a bit of fun. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.